Greetings YouTube, today we have a mutant cyborg anthropomorphic fish. That's a mouthful. So the only identifying marks on the bottom of this are something called Segundo, and I actually didn't look this up before I started this video. So I have no idea what Segundo is. It was S-E-G-U-N-D-O. Um, so I don't know where this comes from. I really don't. I saw it at a thrift shop and I picked it up because I'm like anthropomorphic mutant cyborg fish. Duh, how am I not going to pick that up? Um, particularly because it has this deep sea vibe going on there. That's like, you know, benthic fish, man. Something in the down deep in the dark. Um, it has a wonderfully aggressive look. Um, this brow bump or ridge or what have you. Um, the very aggressive look. I like the, the overall fin. I did a good a nice job on this and even though it's the paint is not extensive there is enough paint on here that it actually shows you that that they actually took a little bit of effort for example in here in the stomach it actually fades let me get that here we go it actually fades into the purple which is a nice touch um now why do i say mutant cyborg well the cyborg part's pretty obvious he's sitting in a set of cyborg legs so kind of an ambulatory so I don't know if these are physically attached or he's just slid into them, kind of like the way you wait wear a harness of some variety. Um, but it has to have some kind of biofeedback, whether it's wired and hard or just picking up muscle groups because fish don't have legs. So you have to have some kind of wiring going on there for this thing to walk. Um, the legs have a pelvic joint and that's it. That's the, that's the only thing the legs do. Um, but it still has a tail, but it's a mutant because it actually has arms and these are part of the fish's body, not the legs. So uh, so it's a mutant fish that had arms and then it was able to acquire or build legs because if you've got arms, you can build your own legs, I guess. Um, and it's also got this cool orange pack, which is a uh, nicely flexible uh, rubber. And I like that because you can move the head because that is a point of articulation. Uh, and the, the hoses move with it. And this hooks up to the gills. So essentially you're looking at the opposite of an aqua lung, a hydro lung that allows the fish to function outside the water, um, which is very cool. And it's got this little antenna back here, be it's sending signals home to the home, to home base. Um, the head, rather well, the face appears to be a separate section than the head. Also, it appears to be a slightly different plastic because the coloration between this and the head is a little different, just as the, the, the arms and the body are a slightly different color. So these two items, or these three items, I should say, are made out of one type of plastic, I believe, and then the head and the body and tail are made of a different type. Not, a, not uh, all that unusual when it comes to making, making plastic. You have different applications, you use different... Um, types of plastic and sometimes it's difficult to match your colors exactly when you're using different types of plastics they always don't uh, the dyes and such don't always function the same way um then you have a little tiny control panel in there which is i think is very cool and this guy really does have a wonderful look of menace now his hands uh it's a ball socket so for shoulders and the wrist but the hands are set up so they definitely look like they may have held something I didn't get this with any accessories. I just found him like this in, 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 a, in a package. I think he cost me three bucks. And I consider it $3 well spent because he is just really cool looking. I like the, the the glowing safety yellow eyes. Nice little slit um, in the in the iris. And the fact that the irises are not in exactly the same position almost makes it look like he's glancing to that in that direction which I think is kind of nice uh, so if anybody knows anything about this mutant cyborg anthropomorphic fish character I would really think that would be cool to tell me uh, I'm probably gonna have to do a little research maybe I can find out that you know what Segundo means uh, is, it a, is it the company is it a anime line is it a cartoon in some other country or is it, I'm just out of the loop when it comes to animated television series or, or films um, he does have a cartoony vibe to him so maybe he does come from a cartoon line of some variety but if there are others in this line 
I want to find out about them and I want to know what they are because he is really cool. My wife's going to get a, get a chuckle out of him when she sees him because I don't think she's seen him yet. Um, she has a fondness for um, benthic creatures as, as, as much as I do. Oh, and I should point out that the tail does have a little articulation as well. Wag his little tail. Um, so there you go, folks. Overall, a very cool um, figure. Um, it's a bit of a mystery to me. I don't know where he come, comes from. I got him, I bought him out of the blue. Um, but yeah, cool little figure and a part of my uh, anthropomorphic collection.